Hello, it's Adam with Tech Dive Productions. To finish out October, we're going to talk about five spooky editing effects you can do to make your visual effects that much spookier. I should have started this tutorial series sooner, but nonetheless, we shall do five spooky effects you can do in Vegas Pro. And the first one being how to make a spooky figure appear in the flames. Alright, so we're inside of Vegas Pro 17, and the first thing you need to do is get the figure and put the figure on the timeline that you're going to put in the fire. This is actually just me looking at my phone, uh, but looking down was, was something sort of ominous. So there I look down, and then I look up, and that's all I'm going to do. So if your figure is creepier, you're going to have a creepier effect here. But uh, So there's me looking down, and I'm on a black background. That certainly helps it out. You can do a green screen as well, but a black black ground is certainly fine. And so if you have your figure on a black background, that's one thing you need. The next thing you need is some fire against a black background. So this is easy enough to source. Um, lots of people have uploaded this as a, as a stock footage. And we're going we're gonna to go with some fire. And that needs to be right above it. So we're going to right-click, insert new video track. I'm going to go ahead and separate the ignore the event groupings right here for the audio so I can delete it and then uh, unclick that so I don't doesn't bite me later and then so here now I have kind of general fire and so you're thinking well now I just see fire not me that's exactly right so now you need to go over here to the hamburger menu on the track with the fire and you need to go to composite mode and multiply mask. Now you can see you as if you're in the fire. So obviously we need to kind of reframe this a little bit. If I pull up the event pan crop, so you can do that by hitting this button right here on your clip. You can scroll out if you don't see it. And then you can zoom in on the fire to kind of make it to make it give you that flame effect a little better so I chose to leave the color in if you don't like the color you can easily just uh, go to a video effect and you can kind of color everything red by boosting the midtones or you can um, completely change everything to be red with uh, uh, color correcting and stuff there's all sorts of ways to do that or you can black and white it and just let the red of the fire take over the black and white I don't mind the color I think the color gives it a little bit of, of specialness to it so I'm gonna leave it in but that is step one see now I have a flaming figure that's important because my shape is constantly changing with the shape of the fire and it kind of gives a flame impression over the colors of my face and clothing so there, we're going to render this out. So you want to render this out in the same, uh, either to the same kind of codec that your project is going to end in or in uh, a compressionless codec like the codec that your camera is in. What we're going to do is we're just going to render this out, file, render as, and we're going to render it out as an MP4. So here I got the same frames per second as my camera, MP4 and uh, we're gonna render this out as test face in flames ah, that's not how to spell and that's good enough for us right here and once I render that out we've got a face in the flames so I'm gonna open folder so I can grab that footage here and I'm gonna go back to project media and I'm going to bring the face and flames into the project media I just clicked and dragged it from a project window I mean from a uh, Windows Windows Media Explorer window and then now you need to go back to this leveling in the composite mode and turn that off go back to source alpha so now you have this effect right here. You can delete the audio track, right click delete track to get rid of the audio because 
Uh, in this example, none of the audio is needed from the original source video. It's just a video effect. Not doing anything with the audio right now. Definitely adding in creepy music later, though. Um, or you can add in fire sound effects. If you actually have a real fireplace, you might already have those fire sound effects. So here's my fireplace. It's not a real fireplace. I have another video. I'll link it where uh, I actually make this fake fireplace. A real fireplace would do better. I just didn't have one. So fake fireplace. Boom. So now we got a fireplace. So do the same thing up here. I'm going to fade it in and fade it out. And so you can fade by just grabbing the top corner of your clip there and pulling a fade. And so this one's now on top, and you see it fades into the figure flames. And then it fades back out. So we want that to happen only inside of the flames. So now, go back up to this one. We're going to change the kind of mask it was. We're going to go to composite mode, and we're going to go to, I believe it was add. Yes, add. And see now, that you can kind of see how it blends with the fire and everything. That's kind of cool looking already. So we got to get this centered a little bit more. Again, we're going to go to event pan crop. And I'm going to zoom out by just grabbing the corner and pulling it out. And putting my shoulders inside the fire there. And so now... Whoops. Okay, so if that happens, what you did in your event pan crop is uh, you've made a keyframe over here because this if this little button sync change it cursor is there uh, where your cursor is on this window is where your cursor is on the timeline and vice versa so my cursor wasn't at the beginning so I made a keyframe so uh, to fix that you just delete the original keyframe if you want to you can slide this all the way up here it doesn't matter and then there you go That's it. That is how to put a flaming face or figure in a fire. A lot of alliteration there. And and you can do this with a lot of things, figurines, effects. Uh, you could even do this with you know, CGI kind of things. As long as the most important part is taking your original thing and giving it that fire overlay. So that way it has that flickering, dancing look within the figure itself. And then when you add it to the fire... It kind of just blends right in as if it's coming from the fire. So that is how to add the fi figure to flames. And that is part one of our spooky effects series. Part two, you're going to have to tune in to find out. So keep watching. If you buy or subscribe to your Vegas stuff through my affiliates link, that helps me out a ton. Thank you for watching. And we got plenty more where this came from. I'll see you next time.